I've been using Photoshop for almost 15 years. I've been learning Photoshop for just as long. Because software, all software, never stops growing and changing, and that's a good thing. But that also means we can't stop growing and changing. I've done a, a few things right. I've also done a whole lot wrong. And there is only one time stewing on my regrets can be considered a good thing, and that's when someone else can learn from them. So let's answer the question, how I'd learn Photoshop if I could start over. First, let's start with my arch nemesis, the basics. Because want to know a secret? I never learned the basics of Photoshop. If I could start over, I'd learn those basics and I do suggest that you do too. Just give yourself a strict timeline, and that's going to be the key here. The basics aren't something you master. You just need to know kind of what's going on generally, and then you move on. What that timeline is is going to be up to you. Everyone's different. I think anyone can learn the basics of Photoshop with just an hour a day for one week. Now, what does that actually include? Layers, masks, both a layer and clipping masks, uh, brushes, adjustments, and filters. As in, you know where they are and kind of what they do. It's like this, I can't run. Except that's not true. I can run, just not well. Just because you can't do something well doesn't mean you can't do it. It means you can't do that thing well. Here's what I've realized. People consider themselves beginners for way too long. But once you can, you can. And it doesn't matter if you can't do it well. There's no mastery in the basics. Uh, it's a buzzword. We learn and then we move on. Do you kind of know where things are? Congrats. You've just graduated to a intermediate Photoshop user. Uh, your diploma will be in the mail. So I didn't learn the basics and we'll touch on why I regret that in a second. But you have those basics down. Uh, you're bored and you want to get to the actual fun stuff because there's nothing fun about the basics of anything. Where do you go from there? One of my biggest regrets was not following a skill set roadmap. Uh, think of it like a skill tree in an RPG. Uh, what's your play style? and what skills are important for you to get to optimize for that play style. I wasted a lot of skill points on retouching when I should have poured them all into typography, which would have helped me way more in both my career and my personal art. I didn't have a roadmap. I didn't sit down and go, okay, what do I want and what do I need to get what I want? And just as essential, what skills do I not need? Uh, cough, beauty retouching, cough. Don't feel pressured into learning things that aren't relevant to what you want and where you want to be, especially if it's just a matter of trends, which is a nice slip into mindset and the correct mindset to have when learning Photoshop, in my opinion. Here are where my biggest downfalls lie, just a warning, like an elephant graveyard of personal embarrassments. But from a practical standpoint, looking at Photoshop as just purely a skill, I did do one thing very, very right, which I will give myself credit for, which is to have a tinkerer's mindset. Don't overly rely on recreating tutorials one to one. Skim articles, scrub through videos, not this one of course, <laughs> get the gist and hop right into Photoshop. Because there is no one way to do anything in Photoshop. There are no real best practices. There's the way that you use that gets the job done fast, efficiently, and correctly which just means you got the results you needed. Not only will this make you actually proficient in Photoshop, but it'll also build your confidence, not having your handheld and just being able to connect the dots on your own and enjoy the process of that. If I can do it, anyone can. But now let's shift to more of an artistic mindset because Photoshop is both for uh, most people. For this, you need to throw that timid, introverted, uh, soft-spoken shtick right out the window, trust me. Do not be shy, do not be timid. You do this by basing your success on the improvement of your skill set. I know, easier said than done. The only thing that should be ever considered a failure is a lack of progression. Guess who is failing for the first five years of their career? Even something as small as an artist I liked following me would send me into this state of 
but what if they see me and laugh at me and then they unfollow me? Oh no. So I wouldn't post anything. I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't reach out to my own peers, God forbid. I couldn't for imaginary reasons. Modesty doesn't benefit you in any way. Post your art everywhere all at once all the time. And the truth is, I still struggle with confidence issues uh, to this day. My skin is crawling every time this camera is on me. One of the main reasons I wanted to share these things was because I've been a Photoshop instructor and an artist for a long time. And it was very important for me to reframe how I looked at the current state of being someone who is learning Photoshop. What's different and what's the same? What did I need then and how would I get that? now. And again, back to skills, core skill education. Now, I don't regret being self-taught. I regret not seeking out and structuring my own content and basically creating my own class. A less pretty images and more focus on core art skills and theory because all of that information is out there. For Photoshop as a software, one of my favorite educational resources is actually just Adobe. We're going straight to the source here because I can just grab what I need and not be distracted by whatever image is being created or the person teaching that image. I also find this helps prep your brain for general software learning. So I know Premiere Pro, After Effects, Adobe Audition, and Affinity photo. And I primarily thank learning Photoshop in such an organic way for why I could kind of take to those programs at least somewhat quickly. I used to sh** myself anytime I opened up Premiere Pro and After Effects still kind of does that to me. Now for more hands-on learning and interesting learning, uh, this channel is going to have some of the best information and projects, PSDs, uh, you can find on image editing, matte painting, and photo manipulation. It's right in the name. It would have genuinely been an absolute treasure trove for me just a handful of years ago. Sometimes I think about how excited 21 year old me would have been to like find a channel like this. The truth is it just didn't exist at the time, but I'm proud to be a part of it now. And of course my own Photoshop love child, the one thing I wish I had when I was first learning, my own training bundle, the Dark Surrealism Masterclass. I created it to fill a gaping hole in the Photoshop training sphere, an actual course that takes photo manipulation and matte painting and Photoshop seriously. And I do want to mention that all the positive feedback for it has been kind of overwhelming. I'll keep it short and sweet. It's my greatest work and is 50% off for its launch promo. I'm trying to keep it at that price for as long as I can, but it's not going to last forever. I'm going to link it down in the description. It has everything you need to master Photoshop, a complete A to Z guide, and 300 plus resources and PSDs, which I know is a huge drawing point because that's bringing us to my biggest struggle while learning, other than my ADHD and moderate dyslexia. After years of messing about, getting distracted, and just kind of shooting in the dark, I finally made the best decision I've ever made for my career. I sat down and I started doing specific Photoshop studies, just giving myself a task, not focusing on aesthetics and the effect or any kind of product and completing that one task to the absolute best of my ability. And this could mean extracting one image, maybe one with a lot of hair, something kind of hard. Maybe you use that image later, in a different project, or you don't, but you get to focus solely on one part of a skill. Uh, shading and shadows are another huge one. In fact, I have a really lovely PSD for doing just that. You can get the full PSD and training for it in the Dark Surrealism Masterclass, but I'll provide a partial version linked down below of just the PSD. Uh, it's just simple shapes. It's nothing fancy, but that's not the point. Breaking things down into their simplest form can remove the noise and distraction, uh, making even something like lighting and shading so much simpler. And that applies to making Photoshop or any program just simple to learn. Break it down into smaller parts and just dive in head first. Don't overthink things. You're gonna feel like there's too much to learn, uh, that you suck. Or even worse, the biggest lie we ever tell ourselves, it's too late, which is ridiculous. But the time it's going to take you to learn Photoshop or any skill, it's gonna pass no matter what. Might as well skill build and level up while that time passes. I have a blood painting tutorial that is the perfect example of breaking things down into super uh, 
simple shapes and steps. And I've had tons of people tell me that it has really helped them kind of uh, simplify digital painting for them. But I think that's gonna be it for me. See you later, guys.